Hello, hello. Welcome to a maker's studio. I am Cheryl and I create over on the Home of My Making Facebook page. So today we have a really, really cute um, farmhouse inspired stencil. So let me show it to you. And as you guys hop on, let me know where you're watching from. And let me know a little bit about your weather in this winter of 2022. So here it is. It is the General Store Stencil. Isn't that so cute? So now you could make your own farmhouse inspired projects. So not only does it have this general store imported and domestic established in 1831 groceries, dry goods and wine, you have a little butter graphic and one for a coffee one. So I'm going to use this part of the stencil today. It's pretty big. Um, so let me take it out of its wrapper. Again, if you're just hopping on, I'm Cheryl from the Home of My Making Facebook page and I'm on the Maker Studio Facebook page this morning showing you this lovely, <laughs> that dropped, general store stencil. So isn't that fun? Look at all the graphic. I love this outline effect that it's not a square. So I'm going to cut it. And again, we're going to be giving this away. Amy was gracious enough to let us give it away. All you have to do is tag three friends in the comments below and share this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to use this segment for my project. So what I went ahead and did is I got a piece of basswood. I did happen to get this at Michael's. So it's just a piece, it looks like it's sliced right from a tree. This is gonna make it the, the best surface for this project. And it's gonna be that I'm making my own decor. And I love that. So what I wanna do, let me just move that out of the way, get everything set up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the inside of this and I'm not gonna do it uh, perfect. I want it a little, again, the worn look, so I don't want a true opaque coverage, but I am gonna use the Bauhaus Buff in the Amy Howard at Home One Step Paint, which I have put into another little container so that I can use it right out of there. So again, if you're just hopping on, we are just introducing this general store stencil and it also comes with another little stencil that has a coffee diagram on it and a butter. So this would be really cute on a butter dish and that would be really cute on a coffee can container or a coffee jar container. So one of the things I'm gonna use is, I love this tool, it's a specialty brush. It's a triangular brush, so it has a triangular shape. That's what I'm gonna to use today to paint my surface. So I'm just gonna go in long strokes down this whole entire board until I get the desired effect I want. Again, I don't really want to paint it like it's a perfect paint job. I want it to be kind of um, a little bit distressed looking, if that makes sense. So I don't want total opaque coverage and I don't want my ends to be perfect. I want them to look brush stroked. So this is a great brush. It's a microfiber brush, if I am correct. Um, and it is available on our website. All the tools that are used in projects or products that are used in this tutorial are always put in the description section at the top of the post. So you can find everything, including the stencil, the paint, and the brush that I use in this tutorial. Now the one step paint doesn't necessarily mean one coat. It just means there's no priming, stripping, or sanding. And as you could see, I just didn't do anything to this board. I just went strictly right over the top of it, just removed any dust or particles that were on it, and then just 
go straight over it. Now it does dry pretty quick. I am probably going to heat it, hit it with a heat gun only because when I'm on a live, I need to get to the next part of the project. You don't have to do that. You can literally walk away for 20 minutes and yours would be dry. So again, I'm just going back and forth because what I'm trying to achieve is if you look at my edges, it looks like it's brush stroked over here. I don't want to um, get it all the way to the end and make it a complete um, paint job, basically. So I'm just dipping this brush into the paint. I love this brush. It does make the application very smooth. So your tools are very important when you're doing a project. So I'm just trying to get it to the end. And if you notice, I didn't take it all the way down because I want that part of the basswood to show where the bark is. I think that's gonna just give it another little element of design. So just gently going back and forth switching sides and completing the look that I'm going for. If it's a little shaded, that's okay. That's the look that I wanted. I want it to look kind of aged and that it's been there for a while. So I'm gonna put this in a water bath that I have going over there because everything I use is washable and reusable. So let me just show you what I have here. So again, I didn't complete the sides really to the end and I didn't take it all the way down here or here. I am going to hit it with the heat gun because I need it to dry to get to the next part of the project. So again, if you're just hopping on, I'm Cheryl from Home of My Making Facebook page. We just introduced the General Store stencil and it's a beauty. I did take a piece of basswood and I did purchase that at Michael's. And then I took the one step paint in Amy Howard at home in Bauhaus Buff with one of our uh, specialty triangle brushes and applied the paint in just brush strokes back and forth without completely covering the whole entire surface. I got a little bit of shading on here because I didn't want it totally opaque look to continue on. And now I'm just touching it with a heat gun. Again, you don't have to do this. I'm doing it because I need it dry to get on to the next part of the project. Another thing, we are going to be giving this stencil away, so don't forget to tag three friends down in the comments and share this tutorial. So it dries pretty quick. Because it's a water-based paint, it dries pretty quick. So I am going to use this part of the stencil where it says imported and domestic general store established 1831 groceries, dry goods, and wine. It's got a lot of detail. It's got a, a nice outline that's gonna fit right on this board. I'm gonna take it off its backing. If you're new to the Maker Studio stencils, these are an adhesive backed stencil. They're reusable. Keep this little piece of um, paper so that you can put it back onto the paper after this is completely washed and dry. And then you would store it back in the sleeve. So I'm gonna try to try to somehow get this a little bit centered. So what do you want to do with these stencils? Because they are adhesive, you don't need to tape them down. You just need to burnish it so that it's going to be flush with your surface. So just rub your hand and get it flush. If you have any gaps or little uh, wrinkles, lift it back up and then just go ahead and straighten it out because you could do this because it's reusable and adhesive. It'll adhes ad adhere back down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take
take. I love this color. It's the One Step Paint in the Midnight Dreams. So this is like a rich blue color. Not real, real dark. You'll definitely be able to see that it is blue and a navyish blue. Um, so this is going to look fabulous in my kitchen because I have blue accents. So instead of doing it in black, I think I'm going to do it in blue. So what I want to do is I want to take a foam dome brush. Okay. And I think I'm just going to take a little paper towel, put that there. I did transfer some of that paint into a little cup because I love to work out of that so that I don't ruin my, um, jars so that they don't get all gunked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on my foam dome brush and I'm just going to off load it onto this paper towel. I still have a bunch on there. Now this is a chalk base paint also. So be mindful that it dries pretty quick because it is um, water based. So I'm just going to dab it on top of this stencil and get it everywhere that the stencil is. Now, if I don't get certain parts of the stencil, I'm okay with that on this project because I definitely want to want it to look like it has been here for a long time. So all I'm doing is doing an up and down motion with the paint pushing it through the stencil and offloading it when I dip into my jar. So again, if you're new to the Maker Studio line of stencils, these are adhesive tri-mesh stencils, your care would be when you remove this from this board, you would rinse it under a sink Usually most of the time all you need is your hand to get the product off and then you would dry it sticky side up and let it dry, air dry, just let it dry. Don't pat it with a paper towel or anything that could get lint on the adhesive side of it. And then when it's completely dried, you would put it back on that little piece of cardboard that came in the sleeve and then you just put it back in your sleeve and that's how you will have a long life with your adhesive mesh stencil. So simple, simple, and simple. Okay, so once again, I do have some missing parts of this that I didn't get the paint on. I don't know if you could see that. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to reveal the design. This is this is the this is the funnest part when it comes to this. Actually, let me take that little piece off of there. So you'll see exactly how I did that, leaving some of the um, design out of it so that it looks like it is aged. I do have a water bath over here. I'm going to put my stencil in there when I get off and then I will go ahead and rinse it under the sink, dry it sticky side up and then put it back in the sleeve. So let me just show you how this came out. I love it. I love it. So see how I did omit some of it on there so it looks like it's aged, right? I didn't totally go over the whole entire stencil when I was pouncing it. Again, I didn't go over the whole entire board with the white. Bauhaus buff paint to give it a more aged look. Now, all I need to do, this is permanent because this, the um, paint is a permanent product in the um, Amy Howard at home line. Because I didn't use the uh, ink or anything. I did the one step paint for my stencil. So look how cute that is. I love the board, definitely love the board. Okay, so that gives it a different look on this basswood board i can't wait to put this in my kitchen so what do you guys think isn't it cute give me a thumbs up or a heart if you think this is a great project i love that i use the navy too it's a little bit different than using say black and again i didn't press down on the whole entire stencil as you can see i have missed pieces but that was done with intent 
So thank you guys for watching. Also, don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be in the drawing for this particular stencil. So thank you guys. Have a great day.